What is up? What is up? Welcome to a brand new video, boys. Thank you for stopping by. So today we are playing UFC Undisputed Three. This is a this is a video that a couple of you have requested. Um, I've done one of these before. This was fighting Anderson Silva. It was can you outstrike Anderson Silva in UFC Undisputed Three Ultimate Mode? Today we're going to be fighting the highest rated fighter. In the game, and that is John Bones Jones. Um, the goal of this video is beat him by any means necessary. We're gonna go simulation, game rules will keep everything the same. But as you can see, this is the highest difficulty. Um, the difference, a big difference between this game right here and you and EA Sports UFC 4 is the AI in this game is actually freaking good. Like, it's really, really good. Uh, you got to know what you're doing. You got to know some of their patterns to be able to beat them. So um, I'm going to go with Rashad Evans. Uh, Rashad is a very safe pick against John Jones because Rashad in this game has very good boxing, very tricky boxing. Um, his his Some of his boxing, uh, his shots actually have built-in evasion that's going to allow you to evade on the spot. Um, Rashad also has very good wrestling, very good top game. Um, Rashad in this game was actually a very good counter to John Jones. Um, another decent counter to John Jones in this game was Shogun. Shogun was pretty decent, but a vast majority of people would go with Rashad because Rashad was very good. So I'm going to go Rashad, and as you guys can see, there's John Jones with a rating of 95. Highest rating in the game. Absolute monster, absolute beast, and we're gonna go see. Let's see what we could do against John Jones. Um, I'm gonna go to the MGM Grand. Amazing in this game, you could also pick your referee, but like, I didn't bother doing that. And then we do it. This is gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. It's been a long time since I played this game, and to be honest with you guys, typically when I play uh, UFC on the Spirit. Three, um, I typically only play in uh, advanced. I find that the advanced difficulty gives you the most realistic gameplay, cause in ultimate the AI starts to do some AI shit. You know, they start to read your inputs. They become extremely lethal Coming with their counters. Next, it's an interim um, light heavyweight title. It can get a bit ridiculous. Ultimate fighter winner Rashad Evans and John Bones Jones. So. But uh, when you fight them in advanced, for example, the AI feels difficult enough, but it gives you like a realistic, like it's just realistic, just more realistic. So, here we go. I figure we watch the intro, why not? This is vintage John Jones, man, look at him. <laughs> this is old school vintage John Jones, wrestling, athleticism, and orthodox striking. When John used to wear his big baggy shorts. You guys remember that? Before the USADA, not, not USADA. Before the uh, Reebok. There's Rashad Evans. These two guys had an incredible rivalry, man. This was before the DC days. Before the DC rivalry. It, it always comes down to wrestling. Like, both of these, anytime John has some kind of rivalry with someone and like a big one too it, it, it seems like it just goes back to wrestling i remember when these two guys were going at each other a big thing was i'll take you down no you're not gonna take me down i'll take you down no no you can't take me down i'll take you down and in the fight there was a huge ego battle where neither guy really tried to take the other down like john did take rashad evans down in that fight but they weren't really actively looking for takedowns on each other, you know? It ended up just being a striking match. Introducing first. Fighting out of, the blue of course, a very similar thing happened against order. DC. John definitely won that. He was able to take DC down multiple times. Fighting out of Endicott, New York. Endicott, New York. He is the current UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Crazy. This is when John Jones was 13 and won. Absolutely crazy. How long this man has been fighting. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. Mm -hmm. He stands five feet eleven inches tall. 
weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque. Also, before Rashad Evans started taking L's left and right, man, Rashad used to be a beast. A lot of you guys, especially if you're new to mixed martial arts, you don't remember Rashad Evans. You don't remember how good this man used to be, but this man used to be absolutely nasty, man. He used to be lethal. Won the bell from Forrest Griffin. In his first title defense, he lost it against Lyoto Machida. Um, and then, I believe Shogun defeated Machida. And then John fought Shogun to get the belt. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, let's do it. Touch it up. All right. Now John, if we remember his patterns, he's gonna be looking to teat me a lot. All right. Duck a few shots, take him down. We're gonna muscle him to the cage. We're gonna play this one very smart. There we go. We're just gonna try to gas John Jones out here. All right, now when he gets up right here, you can strike from the overhook side. From the underhook side, all you have are these Shoulder strikes right here. Now he'll try to take me down right here. Oh boy, and he's got me against the cage. If he goes again, he might get it. All right, just use that to. Got him with that boxing. So typically, John. I'm gonna be looking for him to whiff and then, see that shot right there? Yeah, look for him to whiff and then we're going to lunge in with that, with that shot. Whiff that again. Okay, we don't wanna to get too crazy because, because these teeps will come and we'll look to catch them. Check that. Catch that. Head kick will land. There we go. Fake that. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Reverse that. Fake. There we go. Just slow him down a little bit. Catch that. Head kick will land again. Uh-oh. We blocked that. The AI will do a good job, too, in this game of remembering some of the shots that you landed on it, and it will make adjustments. So, very good first round. We're able to take him down a few times. Um, landed some good ground and pound. Rocked him. Going to keep that, keep that going right there. I like to keep him against the cage because that's where I can start to like wear him down a little bit. And it's always better when John Jones gets tired. It's, it's easier to beat him when he gets tired. Wear him down, land shots to uh, land shots to the body. Um, like I said, when you get him in the like overhook and underhook, from the overhook side, you, your, your arm is free to land the shot to the head. It's a free shot. You can't block it. And then from the underhook side, all you can land are shoulder strikes. Those shoulder strikes don't really do too much damage. Um, if you can get double underhooks, a loose double underhook, I believe you can only land knees to the, to the legs. But if you can get a tight double underhook where you lock your hands completely, then you can land knees to the body. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that here. There we go. Oh, God damn. He's looking for crucifix. All right, so right here, I'm gonna look to sit him down. 
All right, he gets up. Let's see if we can if we can get double under right there. So this is a loose double under. Notice my arm, my hands are not connected. Now my hands are connected. Come on, John. Can I show them what I want to show them, please? All right, now we lock it. Come on, John. Lock it. Now we can land these knees. See the knees to the body? Yeah, these knees do quite a bit of damage. It works his stamina. All right, we drag him to the ground. And if you notice, when you drag him to the ground with the locked body lock, when you land, you're actually in open guard. Now from here, I can land from my left because that's the overhook side. There we go. Now from here, I can only land to the to the knee right there. You see that? Drag him down again. And man, like in this game, you can, I mean, you can get trapped against the cage for a long time, man. Lock again. All right, let's see if I can take him down here or if he's going to reverse it. There we go. We got it. Nice shot. Ah, I tried a knee cut right there, but I wasn't able to. Do it again, John. Look at him gassing himself out. Teep coming now. Nice. Just spin. Catch that. There we go. See if we can dump him here. If you will let me muscle him to the cage. Lock that. All right, let me try to take that again. Beautiful. Good. Right now, the biggest thing I'm doing is I'm not letting him get his striking going. If this was just a I'll strike John Jones match, this would be a completely different fight. It would be so much, so much harder to beat him. I don't know why. See, they're telling me to stay out of the clinch, and the reason is because right there, your opponent is more skilled in the clinch game. So try to keep your distance. If you do end up in a clinch, try to escape right away. So it's what it, it's basically telling me is your opponent's stats in the clinch are way better. That is true. John Jones in the clinch in this game is lethal. Hell, but I do understand how the clinch game works <laughs> in UFC Audi Speed 3. I do know some of John Jones' patterns. So I can kind of game it. In a way, I'm cheating because like I'm kind of like I already kind of know what he's gonna do. So um, Are you ready to fight? <laughs> Are you ready? But then again, a, a lot of times beating these AIs is, is that's kind of what it boils down to. It boils down to knowing their pattern. Teep coming. There it is. Head kick will land. Okay, he blocks it. He's starting to block the head kicks now. Now look at the, this stepping jab. Oh, he lands a spinning elbow. That ain't good. All right, now I'm going to look to start boxing them up a little bit. There we go. Fake him out. Land that. Fake, fake. Oh, I thought I blocked it. All right, now we play guard. Now in this game, to close your guard, come on, ref, stand us up. He's not doing anything. There we go. In this game, you're not denying transitions. You don't have to read where your opponent is going. You don't have to memorize the different directions. All you really got to do is hold a specific direction. When you hold a specific direction, what you... Oh, God damn, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Yeah. Like right there, guard closed. Guard is open. Guard cl Guard closed. When he tries to get up, when he tries to posture up, eventually he will get through. If I just held it, eventually he will get through because it's kind of mimicking muscle fatigue. The longer you hold on and they try to... God damn it. Oh! Oh boy. There we go. I like faking him out here. Where we fake him, he pulls back to land. 
Come on, John. What? Oh no. Got him. Beautiful. Alright. He sits up against the cage. There we go. Alright. So like I said, um, to block all transitions in the game, all you got to do is hold your, your right stick. You either hold it to the right or to the left. And when you do that, it activates your... Uh, so if you're in the guard, for example, you close your guard and you pull down the opponent. You pull down the opponent, you, you hold on to his head and you close your guard. And that prevents him from passing for a short amount of time. Now, if the opponent keeps trying to pass, if he keeps muscling it, he's eventually going to get through, which is why the game encourages you to try to move. You block, you transition a little bit, and then you try to move. It, I think I'm actually going to do like a full breakdown on this game's grappling system. Because like, now that I'm doing jujitsu, I'm realizing just how much, just how realistic this game's grappling system is. Like, truly, man, it, it does, it truly, truly feels like you're doing jujitsu when you're playing this game. All right. Keeps going for this teep that I keep catching. Alright, we can also fake him out with the head movement. Alright, look at him gassing a little bit. Oh, come on. I want to hit him with an uppercut. There we go. Nice. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Woo! Come on. Rocked. All right, let's see. Switch stance here. Armbar, can we get John Jones with an armbar? We can get him. We can get him. Yes, we did. Beautiful. John Jones submitted with a beautiful armbar. How you like that? Rock him, sit him down while he's still on the ground. Rocked. We get on top. Snatch up a beautiful armbar. So first of all, when we got on top, we ended up in stacked, not stacked. Yeah, that was that was uh, but that was knee on hip, pretty much. That wasn't actually stacked. That was knee on hip, and then from knee on hip, we Toriando end up in like a side control, but with him turtled a little bit in the fetal position. From there, we switch our hips, get the arm, extend it, and top him out. Look at that. Beautiful. All righty. So, can you defeat John Jones in the ultimate difficulty in UFC Undisputed 3? Uh, yeah, we can. We, yeah, yes, we can, for sure. For sure. Yes, sir. Sugar Rashad Evans. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see me do a much more difficult, uh, like a, a more difficult challenge against John where I try to outstrike him. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm probably going to pick Shogun, someone like Shogun, or maybe Machida, and try to see if I can outstrike John Jones. I mean, I, I know I could. Um, dude, look at look at his stamina by the end. This is good. Not bad, dude. Not bad. We were able to just... I mean, look at the stats here. Um, he worked my legs a bit more, worked my body a bit more, of course, with those teeps. Um, 
my arms, well, his arms, I damaged more because I was able to, I was teeing off on his arms. I was blasting away at his arms. But um, look at that. S seven takedowns we landed to his three. Seems like he had, he got, okay, so he attempted more transitions, but he was only able to, well, I performed way less transitions. Look at that. I performed less transitions, be but that is very interesting. Dominant positions. He got more dominant positions. What the fuck? Maybe I'm not reading this correctly. That's very interesting. He got 17 dominant positions. Huh. Anyways, that is it, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go right ahead, leave a like. It helps out the channel. And I will definitely see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good night, boys.